All right, guys, I'm on vacation right now on a cruise in Mexico, yet I am still bringing you the fastest news network from Cozumel on YouTube. So guys, let's smash 200 likes for the fastest news network on YouTube. And the fact is, if you're not subscribed with the bell rung, then you are not up to date. And if you haven't already, then follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Real God of Cringe. Now let's jump right into it. All right, guys, now as you know, JayStation just put out a video on his YouTube channel explaining how he is quitting YouTube. He says he doesn't know if, for how long, might be a week, might be a month, might be a year. And the reason he says this is because he doesn't know when YouTube is gonna give him his monetization back. He never admits this in the video because he wants it to seem like a more genuine apology than possibly it actually is. I don't know. I hope he's turning over a new leaf like he says he is. I hope he's becoming closer with his mother and father that he, that he hasn't spoken to his, in years. I really hope so. His mother's undergoing chemo and his father needs him more than ever as he's growing older. So I hope what he's saying is true, I really do, and I hope he turns over a new leaf not making fun of people passing on his channel for views and opportunities and money. And he, I believe, with a rude awakening from YouTube taking away his monetization, has finally realized and now believes that negative attention is not the right way and the proper way to seek attention. It is not prosperous, it is not honest, and it does not have longevity. So it is very important to be honest with yourself, honest with your fans, your audience, and be good to people and not to make fun of them when they pass away or when the, their loved ones pass away and to only thrive from positive attention. I think Jay is slowly, slowly seeing this. Like I said, YouTube had to give him a rude awakening, but I believe that when he does come back, he will be better. He, like he said, he's currently in the process of deleting videos to please YouTube enough to give his monetization back. Now, in today's video, we're getting deep and we're getting really, really, really deep. And the reason I say this is because my close friends, Luxury Pranks, also known as Luxury Dark, also known by their second channel, Luxury, uh, Life of Luxury, okay? This is not a sponsorship. This is not a promotion of any kind. These are my good friends. They lost monetization on their first channel. That's a slap on the wrist. However, YouTube never gave their monetization back and by golly, they asked. And they, they announced this to all of their fans. This is not private information. My good friend Parker, he he's an incredible human being. He really is. And he makes incredible content on Luxury Dark, which J Station has copied over the years. But he's genuine as it gets, man. He helps his friends any way he can. When I was visiting him in in New York, Buffalo, New York, when my wife had to have her tubes untied so we could get her, so we could conceive. He was there for us and he, he, he bought us Ubers everywhere and he's, he allowed us to stay with him. He's just an, an, an incredible person, incredible human being. But that's a side note, guys. When he lost his monetization, he made lemonade out of lemons. He made a new channel, he funneled people in made another new channel he funneled people in. He's getting sponsorship deals and, and, and really doing better than he's ever done before. And he's only, only rising in the community. He supported me in every way he can and I am forever in debt to him because of this. He's a very good person and I'll always be there for him as a good friend as well. So show him some love, of course. But what he did and what I'm explaining to you guys is that it is not hard for someone at that level that J I'm J Station is at to turn his zero monetization channel. I don't know what Dream Team is. Guys, go check and comment on this video if Dream Team has any ads on it. He may or may not be able to funnel pe more people into that and then continue his content on there. We don't know yet. Either way, he's taken a big blow to the to the uh, to the ego and to the bank account right now. So he's not going to post as much on his main channel. Whether he posts on his second one or not, starting now or starting soon. I don't know, but I'm just letting you know in this video what I'm almost positive he's going to do. I'm, predict I'm predicting Jay will do this in the very near, f near future. I believe he's vacationing right now. I believe he does need a mental break because of all the stress he's been through with losing his monetization, losing his girlfriend, etc., etc. His close friend, his good friend, we believe he's a good person. Ahmed is there for him. I'm sure that they're going to travel together and have a nice time. I believe that they 
can possibly relate on many aspects of growing up and possibly lacking uh, some, some good path and good guidance growing up. And, and I believe they're there for each other now and that's really special and I'm happy for Jay in that respect. I'm happy for Ahmed to have Jay. Uh, Ahmed has his own channel and is a very hard worker on both his channel and Jay's channel. Now, while they're on vacation, they're brainstorming. And I believe either as we speak or when they get back, they will try very, very hard. They watch my videos. Ahmed is subscribed. I don't know about Jay. He probably is. He's very in touch with the commentary community discussing him, as anyone would be who does the incredible uh, publicity stunts that he does. Uh, he doesn't want to, you know, lose out on anything just as he has. And he, hope it's not, he hopes it's not a... A burnt bridge that can't be rebuilt uh, so he does keep a close eye on the the commentary community however my point is uh, as soon as possible I'm guaranteeing you that they locate and team up with as many sponsorship deals as humanly possible start pumping out content just as much as they were before however now I believe they'll push the 499 or possibly 599 membership to join the Facebook uh, I'm sorry, the YouTube channel of his with emotes and this and that, freebies and extras. That way he can have a side income doing that, but probably on both channels. You, I believe you need 30,000 subscribers in order to have that feature. And then he's going to probably push Patreon and any other crowdfunding sites that he believes that he can used in a beneficial way to, to creating content and more power to him. The guy is extremely motivated. Uh, I don't believe that this is permanent for him. I believe he's just too big. Um, I believe that if luxury pranks continue to fight, maybe they would have let, let uh, kind of open the floodgates and allowed their them to earn income that way again. I don't know, but I don't believe Jay is gonna quit asking them. I believe he's gonna keep asking them. I believe he's going to try to do better. I'm going to believe he's going to try to do the Patreon and the different crowdfunding ways of earning money so he can keep pumping out content. He's probably going to earn more than he ever has before because I don't think he's ever done much of any sponsorships. If you've seen him do any sponsorships before, comment below. Let me know. If you'd like to see him collab and sponsor, or I'm sorry, collaborate with other companies and do more sponsorships or even do sponsorships in the first place, then comment below the companies you'd like to see him do that with. Like I said, they watch my content. They're going to look down in the comments and they're going to see which companies that you guys suggest them to collaborate with so they can earn their income again. YouTube is in, YouTube AdSense is an incredible income, but it's not all. And they know it's not all. It's, they know it's not the end all, be all. And they've got many other ways of earning income. They are going to pump out content on both channels, no matter what, I guarantee it. Whether they're earning money or not, Jay loves the attention. Jay has a nest egg. Jay, I believe Jay can afford to live several more years on the money that he has. Even though he's made $2 million, it's a very clear that he spends money willy-nilly. He advertises on his social medias about his brand new Givenchy and different Gucci and different designer brands that he likes to dress himself in, which, hey, more power to him if that makes him feel good. I love designer brands, not because of the names, not because of the prestige that comes with it and the respect that some may feel comes with it. But rather the quality. I have felt so many designer pieces of clothing that have such an incredibly thick cloth and quality to the cloth that is simply unmatched. And hey, more power to him. If he can afford that luxury and that quality, more power to him. But on the side note, I do hope that he also saved money out of that $2 million. If he saved money the right way, then he'd have most of that $2 million still left over because technically people can retire even nowadays on $2 million. I even venture to say someone could retire nowadays on $1 million, even without investing it. Even though investing is always a good thing. Receiving dividends simply means that you're receiving part of your money in interest each month that you're earning off of what you have, excuse me, uh, invested. And as to whether Jay did that or not, or Ahmed is, do is doing that or not, I don't know. I feel like they maybe didn't receive the proper guidance growing up, having the right figures uh, to look up to. So I don't know if they are properly using their money in that respect. But either way, the guys, that's my take on it. I don't think Jay's going anywhere anytime soon. I believe my second channel will continue to report 
on the lies of Jester, and I believe this channel, the main channel, will continue to report on the lies and dishonesty of I'm J Station. But either way, we will follow him closely. And as always, guys, I will keep you up to date. We are doing a couples vlog uh, series starting within the next couple of days. And you can check that link out on my wife's channel in the description below. Thank you so much for watching.